Technical Guide to Resistance, which is an absolutely essential handbook to defending constitutional values, defending freedom, equality of rights for all people, including Muslims of conscience who are willing to accept the freedoms and the uh, protections that our society, our pluralistic society, allows. We have Nani Darwish, who is an ex-Muslim, who grew up in Gaza and saw firsthand the hatred and the violence that was taught even to the youngest children. And we have Simon Deng, who lived for years as a slave in Sudan, kidnapped and forced into slavery because of his re religion and his race. And so this is a conference in the defense of human rights. These kinds of oppressions should not and must not continue. And they continue because the self-appointed appointed guardians of human rights are actually on the other side, as we just saw now. The self-appointed guardians of human rights and equality and freedom are actually tools of oppression, violence, and hatred. Yeah. And we saw it just now. And so, well, you know, you, you can talk all the time. You give speeches all the time. You guys have the university. We come in once. We are equal time. <coughs> if you, uh, <coughs> If you want to give a talk, I'll come heckle you. But in the meantime, wait. So now, you, why can't you exercise at least even the most basic courtesy? Be quiet and wait for the Q&A. Why do you have such a lack of respect for your fellow human beings that you would shout us down and, and berate us like this? How is it that you have lost all sense of humanity? How is it that you have lost all sense of basic respect for other human beings? Anyway, I would like now to bring up my colleague and friend, one of the foremost human rights activists in the United States and the world, Pamela Geller.